Is there a more tailored approach to the treatment of in situ breast cancer? Shelly, you're one of the country's experts in in situ breast cancer, ductal carcinoma in situ. And this has been a passion and interest of yours for some time. Tell us about a more tailored approach to the treatment of DCIS. Yes, yeah, Jay, you and I have talked a lot about this, and you know that the primary mode of treatment for these patients is to treat it pretty much like we do invasive cancer. So a lot of these women will get mastectomy. Um, probably about 30% of women diagnosed with in situ cancer, which is different from invasive cancer that can spread, uh, are treated with a mastectomy for something that potentially would never have any impact on their survival. And then we probably have another 60 to 70% of women who are treated with um, lumpectomy. And of those, um, about half of those are treated with radiation too. So pretty aggressive treatments for a disease that really can't spread. Shelly, how do we figure out which is the less aggressive forms? In other words, how do we make it more tailored? What, what are your thoughts about that? Right, so I think people have been trying to do this for a very long time, and we've been looking at clinical criteria like you know, how old is the patient when they get it, how large is it when it's diagnosed, does it look like it's the aggressive type of cells, and particularly to that we like to think about the grade, so there are three different types of grade of the cells depending on how aggressive they look. And for all of these factors, we've been trying to put it together to come up with a scoring system to determine whether patients are at high risk for having a recurrence or not if you treat without radiation. So um, there have been some prospective trials, as you know, that have randomized patients to either only lumpectomy or lumpectomy with radiation. And we're getting closer to identifying a group of patients who are at really sufficiently low risk that we might be able to cut out radiation altogether. Now, the the interesting or, or new aspect of all of this is I think there are some women who are at such extremely low risk of any bad outcomes that they could be treated without any surgery at all. And so I think the challenge is to find out how to identify those women. Now there are some um, clinical features that we look for, like grade that we were talking about before, but there's also an exciting molecular test that can look at some of the genes in the DCIS to try to discover which patients have a favorable gene profile that could predict for a very low risk of any uh, potential invasion in the future. And is the oncotype DCIS score one of those profiles that yes. you're talking about? Yes, absolutely. So the DCIS score is a gene test of 12 genes. It's been offered for about two and a half years now. And there have been close to 3,000 women who've had this test done to try to determine whether they might be at the very low risk in which case um, radiation may potentially not add much to their treatment, or whether they're at a sufficiently high risk that they really should think about okay. getting radiation. And I'm sure you're an advocate for going to a multidisciplinary center for this sort of approach, correct? Yes, I think when you're really on the bleeding edge of what's happening, you need to have the combined input of everybody who's, who's making important decisions about your care. And specifically for this question, I would say it's really important to get a surgical oncologist and a radiation oncologist to be thinking together with the patient to make sure that they get the most tailored approach to their disease. Very good. We want to thank Dr. Shelley Wong for sharing her thoughts with us. In fact, there is a more tailored approach to the treatment of in situ breast cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.